All right, so with this question, we've got quite a lot of work to do, but once we've started, we're likely to keep going and getting it right. So if we can get the first, if we can get the idea of the question right, we're likely to get a lot of it right. So let's, uh, let's, let's look at the question. Here is a cuboid. Work out the total surface area of this cuboid. Uh, write your answer in the box below, and we also have to pick the units of our answer. Now surface area is the area of all the surfaces. So for example, here's the front of the shape. It is a surface on the cuboid, and if we find the area of this, that's going to be part of the surface area. The surface area is all of the faces. If you find the area of all the faces, add them all up, that's the surface area. Now let's start with the bottom. Let's start by finding the area of the bottom down here. So it's a square, uh, or yeah, it's a square. So for the, for the area of a square or a rectangle, we do base times height. So we're going to do 30 times 30, and that is going to be the area of that face. So we need to do 30 times 30. Now, um, there's a trick for doing multiplications like this, where you just take the first digits and multiply those together, because everything else is a zero. So we're allowed to do 3 times 3, which is 9, and then add on 1 zero for here and 1 zero for here, making our answer 900. And that's the area of the bottom of our shape. Now that area is going to be the same as the area of the top of our shape. So when we add up all of these numbers at the end, we're going to need to include two lots of 900. And I'm going to write the two 900s in there, because perhaps I'll use this to do the addition at the end of the question. Maybe not, but we need two of them, so I want to write two of them. Um, uh, next, let's tackle the left, let's say. Let's do the left side next. So here is the left. Uh, it goes like this. Those lines aren't very straight, but something like that. Uh, it is also a rectangle. The base is 30 and the height is 80. So to work out the area of this face, this side, we're going to do 30 times 80. And just like last time, we can just multiply the first digits together. Uh, 3 times 8 is 8, 16, 24. And then add on the two zeros, so it's 2,400. And again, there are two of these. There are two 2400s because there's the left and the right. But if we take a look at the front of our shape, uh, let me just get rid of this to make it a little clearer. If we take a look at the front of our shape here, um, we will see that if we try and do base times height again, it'll be 30 times 80, which we've already done. It's, it's 2400. So in fact, because the front is the same as the back, and it turns out they are the same as the left and right, we're going to have four lots of 2,400 that make up the total surface area of the shape. So in, in other words, because the base of the shape is a square, um, all four sides that go around the side, so you've got the left and the right and the front and the back, they're all the same. They're all the same rectangle that is 30 wide and 80 high, so we're going to have four of those to add up to make the surface area. So. Uh, the last thing we need to do is add these numbers up. Now, I did speak about doing column addition a minute ago, but you may have noticed the issue is that the, these numbers aren't lined up correctly. So if I shifted these two 900s over by one, that would be fine, and then maybe that would help. So I am going to do that, actually. I was thinking about just doing it on uh, sort of on paper, like doing it with my pen over in the corner, but actually we can use this working out box to help us. I'm going to drag a line down as well like that. And now let's get to adding these up. So if we add up these, this column, we've only got zeros, so they add to zero. This column, same issue again, the zero. Nine, now this, this one needs a bit more work. Nine plus nine is 18, plus four is 22, another four is 26, another four is 30, another four is 34. So I'm gonna put four and carry over three. Two plus two is four, six, eight, 9, 10, 11. So there is our answer for the total surface area. I think the answer is 11,400. So before we talk about the units, let's just have a quick recap and make sure that makes sense. We found, first of all, the area of the bottom, which is a square, 30 by 30. We did base times height, 30 times 30, 900. That is the same as the top, so we're going to need two of those, which is why it's written there twice. Uh, we did then move them across to one so that we could line them up, but that's not really part of the working out. 
So, we've got the top and the bottom. Now we need the left and the right, which we did next. We did 30 times 80, because they're 30 wide and 80 high. And the left is the same as the right, so they were both 2,400. But then we noticed that those are the same as the front and back as well, because they're also 30 by 80, because the base of the shape is a square. So we now need four lots of 2,400, which we included and wrote that down, added the whole lot up to get 11,400. Now let's talk about the surface area. Now this is a 3D shape, which means it's very tempting to say it's centimetres cubed. Centimetres because we're using centimetres and cubed because that's what we use for 3D shapes. But that's not quite true. Centimetres cubed is for volume and we have an area. Yes, it's the area of a 3D shape. It's the area around the outside, but it is still area, which means it's going to be centimetres squared. Just to talk briefly about the difference between them, a centimetre looks like this, that's a centimetre. A centimetre squared looks like this, it's a, it's a square centimetre. And a centimetre cubed looks like this, sort of. We have, we have found an area, the area of all the surfaces around the shape. It doesn't make sense for us to say it's this long, like it's an area, how, how can it just have length? And equally, it doesn't make sense to say, oh yeah, the area is like 11,000 of these cubes because cubes are 3D. It only makes sense for us to use centimetres squared because squares, you can say, yeah, the area of all of those faces together, it will require 11,000 of these centimetre squares to cover that area. Um, good, so centimetre squared is for area. I hope that last bit didn't get too confusing, a bit too deep, but there you have it. It's 11,400 centimetres squared. Um, quite a big question, hope that helped.